In this video, I want to give a brief overview of the three different menus for creating animations. Uh, first, let's look and do a bit of a deep dive into the automatic recognition menu from the global module settings. You'll notice seven different categories of effects here. Melee, range, on token, templates, aura, preset, and active effects. In a separate video, we'll go into each of these in particular talking about what they do. On the second subheader here there is an add button so you can add sections to your menu to customize more items. If you have a bunch of these windows open and you have a very large list and you're scrolling through there's a button next to that to close all of your windows and in the middle you see a search function uh, great for searching and filtering through large menus. If you have uh, a bit of a messy menu, you can sort it alphabetically with this button. And an overflow button to delete everything on a given menu. Uh, your menu manager, well, b before we do that, there's one more overflow button. On each section you'll see you can use uh, this button to delete individually or duplicate that entire section. Uh, the metadata is more uh, more module specific and uh, I'll cover that in a different video. Now your menu manager button allows you to do four different things. You can restore your menu to its default settings. Now if you're just tired of it and you want to go back to the original, hit the restore menu button and it'll put everything back to its original state from when you first installed it. You can export your menu to a JSON file. You can also merge and overwrite your menus. Uh, merge menu will take an, a JSON file that somebody else has exported and it'll let you import it and it's going to merge that into your menu giving preference to everything you have. So if both menus have say all of these sections here, but the incoming menu has more. It's going to keep all of these entries for you and only bring in the new ones. Conversely, overwrite menu will take the incoming menu and completely erase your existing menu. Now each of these, you'll see here, give you the option to overwrite individual menus within this overall structure. You can import everything or select individual menus that you want to perform the overwrite or merge on. You'll see here we'll just import this melee menu from this incoming JSON and you see it changes my entire menu here while leaving the others untouched. Now we'll restore that to its default and I'll show you the merge function and we will only do this with the melee menu so you'll see all of my original ones exist still but it brought in all the new ones starting with axe like you saw before and then we can sort that and you have a new menu I'll restore this to its default settings and leave this over here now your foundry items uh, item spells whatever your system calls them they're all basically foundry items when you open this menu from an item, you see several things. By default, every item is considered enabled. If you want to disable animations for a specific item, you can disable that here with this button. If this name matches something in the global automatic recognition menu, you'll find that here. Otherwise, it would say a global match is not found and it would be red. Now, you can customize each individual item by enabling this button here and then you can configure the animation exactly as you see fit. Uh, use ammunition button this is only currently active in 5e uh, this will for this item <coughs> point automated animations to any specific ammunition that this item is using so it'll take that ammunition name run it through the automatic recognition menu and if there's an animation present for that it will use that before falling back to a base animation that you have defined on the item or the global automatic recognition menu. 
Now you can check this without customizing the item as well. Item menus have everything the automatic recognition menu does except active effect animations. Here you can make changes and submit or submit and close. You have a shortcut to open your global automatic recognition menu, an info button, and try to just remind you what some of these options do. Now where it also comes into play, if there is a global match found, and there is one for Greatsword, uh, if we want to copy the, all the entire settings for that Greatsword animation from the auto rec to the item, this button will let you do that. So we're copying, overriding everything on this item. And that will include any customizations, 3D effects, uh, sounds, options, etc. Uh, a GM only function will allow the GM to copy an animation from the item into the automatic recognition menu. So it won't let you do that here because that already exists. Let's say you customize it to be a fiery greatsword. Then you could submit that and submit it to the melee menu based on obviously what menu you have selected here. I'll close that out for a moment and show you the active effect menu. You see here, like I said before, I have not set up a label on this, so it's not going to match anything. You see this colored in red, saying no global matches found. By default, again, it is enabled, so it's going to read from the automatic recognition menu. And you can both copy to and from, just like items. You can customize this using the active effects menu, where you can choose between an on token and aura type animation. Now in the next video, I'll go in specifically to what each of these menus does. Thank you.